Hi everybody, hope you well. Today we will read from the monograph of Terunobu Fujimori published by Toto. Yoro Insect Museum, Kanagawa, 2005 Takeshi Yoro is a well-known anatomist with a wide knowledge of natural history and he has been an insect lover since his childhood. Now he focuses on thinking about the global environment through insects. He has been thinking about how to preserve his collection of bill bags from around Japan and the world, as well as his friends' collections of insects, and how to exhibit these collections so that researchers can use them for study. He decided to construct a building which is both a mushigura, a storage of insects, and a guest house. We placed the storage of insects surrounded with collection shelves in a central hall and research functions and weekend house functions stretching out from the central hall. We placed a guest house in the garden. The storage is a reinforced concrete structure and both wings are wooden structures. In this building I tried three new things. The first is a Shibamune style roof on which I planted plants along the ridge line of the gabled roof. Unlike the Shibamune style roofs in Normandy, France, we plant many different kinds of plants in Japanese Shibamune. Iris, Selaginella, Tamarisina and Tiger Lily are the three major plants for Japanese Shibamune style roofs. Chinese bellflower and leek are also planted as Shibamune. My favorite are Iris and Chinese bellflower. And it is awesome to see them planted along the ridge line of the straw roof and sway in the wind. Thus, I planted iris and Chinese bellflower along the line of the wall, sticking out as an arch shape from the front facade of the building. The second new thing was an arch wall on which the Shibamune rests. Here, I attached thick styrene foam outside of the reinforced concrete wall, plastered on top of it, and then pasted mud as the finish. Since it is difficult to create free curved lines and curved surfaces with reinforced concrete, I applied styrene foam which allowed me to create any form freely. The last new thing was using burnt cedar. In order to extend the durability of good panels, on the east side of Japan they paint the panels with charcoal, while on the west side of Japan they burn the surface of cedar panels. I'm not sure when this practice began, but burnt cedar is used for rain protection of fences and storage buildings. The site is sloping to the left and extremely long and narrow. If I locate a building facing straight to the front street like the ceremonial pose of a Yokozuma wrestler, the design of both sides become unguarded. But the client said this unguarded moment is interesting. The main space of the guest room is open to Mount Ashigarayama. Mount Gairinzan of the Hakone volcanic mountain range is seen beyond the Shibamune style roof. For the grass building, Japanese roof irises and Chinese bellflowers are planted in pots on a ground covering of lawn. Various seeds that birds dropped also grow here. I wanted to use real soil, but when I considered freezing and melting, I could only paste a thin layer on the surface. I have tried many things, but still I have not found a solution for freezing and melting. 
The guest house on the left is built as a timber frame structure with posts and beams, which needs either a hard panel or a diagonal in between the posts in order to resist the seismic motion. I exposed the diagonals as an expression. After putting a plant on the top of the roof, I also examined the possibility of including planting on the chamfered surface of the mud wall, but concluded as it is written. After all, it is no good. Mushigura, the storage of insects, is as a storage house, stores a variety of products. I'm happy that even this small museum has an atmosphere of a storage house. The stair, the shelf and the floor are made of Japanese chestnut. Looking out from the living room next to the large exhibition storage room. The columns for the insect storage house were made from the thin oak trees that were selected and extracted from the local mountain together with the client. Due to their irregular shapes, thin oaks are generally not suitable as structural elements, but they can be used as freestanding columns. There is a small room behind the insect gallery which is used for treating, filing insects and observing them with microscopes. It is like a tiny chemical laboratory. Sitting in a tiny space attached to a larger space is comfortable. We can enjoy the greenery outside the window. Upon lifting up this guest house, I designed to rest everything on a single wall. The wall supporting the floor and the space under the floor is reinforced concrete structure and timber structure rests on top of it. My friend Shimbo Minami drew a painting of a horse and a deer with a stencil over the mortar pasted on the wall supporting the guest house. This is Baka no Kabe, Wall of Fools, a best-seller book written by Professor Yoro. In Japanese, the word fool is written as Ba, horse, and Ka, deer, in Chinese characters. The autumn leaves of Hakone are very beautiful. The guest house is built by carving out a hilly landscape and is raised from the ground to avoid high humidity. The interior is a single space. People who love insects are the main guests. Ask for the book at your local bookstore. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.